Okay, this is a continuation of the experiments I'm running with using a 15 watt solar panel, which is the one right out there. And uh, I posted a video of it running a Newman, and I've also posted videos of it running Bedini's and HHO cells. And I've gotten some feedback from the viewers that enlightened me, and I learned from the uh, feedback which is great with YouTube is you can actually learn something from people that watch your videos and then give you information which you would take a lot of time to find out on your own first thing I found out was that um, this fuse that I added right here uh, it's a yes and no you don't need that fuse that's not required there if you're going right into a device uh, where you need the fuse is at a battery you need the fuse right here right close to the battery so that if you short out something, it will break the circuit and not pull off energy and cause a uh, heating and fire and ruining and everything else that's going on. But this is the situation with the solar panel going into the battery. Okay, there's amperage and there's voltage right there. Now what I'm going to do here, this is coming right off the solar panel right here. And this was really scary for me but I did some research and it is true if you take the solar panel and you short it out voltage goes to zero amperage goes up to what it's rated at at a short circuit and this is usually listed on the back of the solar panel unfortunately the one I got it was not listed there was nothing on the back of the solar panel so I was clueless about what was going on with that panel but it doesn't hurt it um, the fuse is not required in a situation like that where you're just shorting the panel out. Uh, it just takes care of itself. Uh, you need the fuse when you're in the battery circuit. Usually they have a controller right here that controls battery voltage uh, going into the battery so you don't overcharge them. And they put the fuse on the positive side right before the battery from the controller to the battery. But they don't fuse prior to that. So it was a nice idea but that didn't do anything. The other thing I found out was um, I've been fiddling around with capacitors and Bedini motors and all this other stuff and I found out, and here again research and feedback from YouTubers, that basically what comes off that solar panel is a chunk of energy that you can divide up uh, any way you want, but energy is energy. And I found out with this fan experiment this morning that I can go right into a fan with this. This is a 12 volt fan. And it runs the fan just nice. You don't have to go through a Bedini or any capacitor or anything. That's just coming off the solar panel. Now it dropped the amperage down that was going into the battery. And of course dropped the voltage down. But what I'm doing is dividing up the energy. The energy is being divided around this situation here. So there's nothing magical about it. Now I take the battery off the circuit. Of course, there's no amperage, and that's what the voltage goes up to going into the fan. You could probably hear the fan just went up in RPM. That's a permanent motor, permanent magnet motor in the fan. It's a 12 volt permanent magnet motor, and uh, the solar panel now is just running the fan. And then if I connect the battery back up, fan motor goes down, energy goes into the battery and the fan. There's no magic here. But anyway, this was a very good learning experience for me um, about what happens with electricity coming off a solar panel and the ratings, the unloaded ratings and the rated loaded and the shorted rating. So that's my latest, uh, latest experience and experiment with the solar panel, batteries, and a load.